Dozens of people wanting a voice in how Tulsa police interact with minorities hope a discussion tonight will improve that relationship. The forum featured mayor-elect G.T. Bynum. As Brian Miller shows us, it was an opportunity to hear firsthand about what's being done to close a bridge of mistrust between some Tulsans and police. Well, that Q&A tonight lasting less than an hour, and they really just talked about ways to move the community forward when it comes to the relationship between police and minorities in Tulsa. Tulsa, in some ways, still healing its wounds from race riots 95 years ago. The point is for them to work together, for us to work together. And as the city's next mayor, G.T. Bynum is tasked with helping to create trust between police and the city's minority community. He's hearing about what needs to happen moving forward. How will the city improve this kind of bias? The event organized by a group called the United League for Social Action. What's more important than that is how people are feeling about law enforcement in Tulsa. And their stories, as was reflected when we first started, are horrendous. It's those stories organizers hope can make city leaders aware of race issues. I'm a very polite person. I'm not a troublemaker, but I am an African American. I have dreads. I have been, you know, pulled over and treated a certain way based on how I look. Bynum realizes change isn't something that can happen overnight. All of the the, the concerns that we have, that we've had in Tulsa relative to race relations historically, we're all created by people. And any problem that's created by people can be fixed by people too. Those here tonight, hopeful the talk turns into action. When you are seen in the community reaching out, uh, bridging the gap, I think that goes to uh, show that we are making moves in the right direction. Something I like to say is that you cannot build a bridge if you're unwilling to step on the other side. And Bynum is set to take office one week from today. The city set to hire 160 new police officers that will help implement that new policing program, community policing program, a plan, by the way, which is still in the works. Reporting live tonight in North Tulsa, Brian Miller, two works for you.